it's not unlike hyena, you know. Our hyena always in their nature, you can see a hyena enjoy dirty food. Always can wallow in the mud and move, go out there. He can eat something rotten, he doesn't mind. He can, he won't lick himself. He will go back to the den. And he can smell hyena from the distance. It's been in the rotten meat. So it's such a very, very amazing species. If you want to compare leopard to all species that are around in the area. Even lions, I mean leopard is more than, is more clean than anything that's around in the area. Same as domestic cat, after it it, it has to clean itself. So it's really amazing. I like that species because of that. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very good. Also, yeah, yeah. Uh, also that um, we've accepted the information of the leopard. What I would like to really chat around the fire tonight, it's... Um, a change of the bush uh, we are right in summer here we were looking forward although it will get thick and more difficult for us to work around in the area but i believe we'll work very hard to find all these animals it will be a lot more challenging today and yesterday as peter said for since from friday we have seen a beautiful uh, sighting around in the area but that is going to change i'm sure we'll be a little bit uh, struggling when it comes to finding leopard into the area and more that I like to say with leopard, as I mean, all of us we know that we are a big fan of uh, Kurula, the female. We're looking for what uh, we, assuming maybe Lex and myself, we see the way she looks at the belly, might be having cubs. We're not really sure of that, but we're looking forward. Then we can follow up on that leopard and get to see whether she have cubs or not. But we, well, we are who work out on that. Today we just went there and she was not there. I hope and believe maybe tomorrow we'll work around in that area and find that. And once the leopard have youngster, it will be not so easy while they're still young. It needs a lot of time and patience to follow that leopard until it shows the den. Most of the time the den might happen in very thick bushes in a cave that will be not so easy to go and foot and check around. Reason behind that because it really has to be in an area where the other species will be not easy to find the youngster. So we'll be looking forward check around in those areas maybe we might be lucky seeing the young lady the first time huh? yes that is going to happen uh if she have a cubs we it will be lovely as peter said it's, it's some of, i mean it's one of the things that really to be honest for sure uh really for sure if you go to other areas uh it's it's really really difficult to find leopard with the youngster especially and the leopard get to legs and the calves get out, move around. It's only this part of uh, the world. In the side of the Juma, where we are here, you're going to see quite a lot of that. Otherwise, it, it, it tends to be like seldom. You may get to see calves while they're six months old, moving around with the mother. But while they're very, very young, under a week or under three months old, it's turning to be a challenge. So, yeah. Like you have to show us now. Yeah, <laughs> like the smallest like ones was like this. Like, what was again? like this, somewhere. So, less than two weeks. Right? Less than two weeks. Remember when we, we spot the cups of, I mean, Saseka and Tingana? Yeah, yeah. At there by uh, Ops Road. I those, didn't see them there, right? I yeah, those, those, those cups that were like, uh, like yeah, two to three days old when you find them. So it was really amazing. And I remember one of the youngsters down south while I was uh, working. Uh, our neighborhood, um, yeah, we have seen uh, a python going for a, a baby leopard which was like five, seven days old. So it's really something that, um, yeah, leopard sometimes you might get to see it. Even from the bath, you might get to witness it. It depends on the leopard how it's more relaxing to the yeah, area. The situation in which she is. Yeah, and the situation where she is. So it's really amazing how things can be happening around the area. In terms of the pride of the lions around the area, I just want to run a little bit of the background then. We, we only uh, get a report from our radio uh, or game drive channel that uh, the two Manunati males are still south of Kudu Corner at, out, are down on that area. I'm sure they've killed a buffalo. We haven't heard about uh, <coughs> Kuhuma where they are because those males have moved into the area where Kuhuma most of the time are coming in and out in that surrounding. And look like they headed further, far more east into Kruger National Park. There is no uh, news on that pride whether it's coming back or not. 
and also the Sandy Fish Fever, the last uh, sighting of Sandy Fish Fever, she was down at um, Bushback Dam, lying down at Dam Wall, and she was calling. And even, I mean, I remember Johnny, Greg from Bush Lodge, even, um, yeah, uh, used the radio for us in order to get to hear the sound. He was transmitting the radio. Dam, just to put it in context for people, that's about, was it about five kilometers north of us, eh? Yeah. Maybe six kilometers. Maybe six kilometers Plus somewhere Manilita. there. Plus my unit. It's inside my unit. I forget to, 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 to really put it clearly where is it pushed back there. So it's really amazing. Um, she is still around here. Yeah? And she met it to those pride. We never know what's going on. Maybe she's having cubs. Because know that, as you know, that uh, a single uh, lioness, it might be a very difficult when it comes to raising a youngster. It would be a big challenge on her. If she might have cubs, might, might, it, it would be very easy to get uh, killed with the other species that they compete compete in the same area. It could kill by other lion. It could can kill by leopard. It can kill by buffalo or elephant. That can happen easy on that way. So it's all about uh, yeah the the prides and the leopard at the inner area which we're looking forward we had that um, i mean couple of weeks uh shadow and tandy which the second thing uh, they were moving down who has look like now that are coming right here as we have seen saseka and we're looking forward we're thinking we're assuming saseka it will be a leopard that will stay around here and we wish for that mm -hmm. she can uh, really stay in the vicinity of three hours there up to quarantine while the mother is pushing further or not because i heard from peter once before um <clears throat> kurula she was seen there by big dam i believe it's mm. a couple uh, kilometers that's from far there. yeah I mean, that's, that's very that's far that's way beyond the foot of dam yeah it's very very far so she might uh, moving around in that area and the young son left her around in the area is what i have for our first side check today i believe uh the next uh, colleague so, i'm just gonna ask you one more question um, do you think that some lions might be moving in here again? I mean, you, you've got the, the benefit of having been here for years now and having seen the, the sort of slight changes with, with the season and so on. Do you think there's a chance that maybe some other lions can be a bit more sort of prevalent around our area again? Yeah, definitely. And we were a little bit uh, chatting about that. You know, the benefit of summer, because it will be more thick and all the animals will be more healthy, it's like right in the winter while you're feeling cold and you put your layers of the blanket and you can sleep it doesn't mean that it's not cold what i'm trying to say is it will be very very thick and it will be pride of lions maybe uh, mapoho close by here yeah. because it's very thick it could be another lion right down here mm. because the sand itself doesn't travel much as it's open around yeah, here it be a little bit more it will be a little bit more yeah. so it will be lots of lions and also in a benefit of thickness into the area. If a lion walks 300 meters while the other lion lying here, it yeah. will be difficult to spot that lion. Yeah, yeah. But into uh, open terrain, like uh, in winter, it tends to be so much challenge into the area. So lions can spot one another from the distance. And there is quite a lot of uh, wind blowing into the area, which sand can travel so easy, and other lions can get uh, one another so easy by using the sand. Yeah. So yeah, it could be, uh, I hope, for this summer coming, um, those Kuhuma females they will end up to be into the area. Maybe they were going to brilliant. settle. Yes. So I believe uh, that's what I have for the afternoon. Uh, I will be uh, having a moment for. Look like Simon will be heading uh, coming down here. Yeah? I will be having a intent to go to uh, the final control center. He's going to say something uh, more about whatever he sees around in the area. Simon, you're very much welcome to take over from me. Okay. Right, can you try that quickly? Okay. Uh, Simon's just going to quickly try and um, mix and Let's just do a little bit of what we do around the fire a lot. Eh? Let's just look into the fire. Okay. Guys, yeah, like Simon says, they won't be sound for a couple of moments. We're going to try and sort that buzz out. But in the meantime, enjoy the view of the fire. I uh, will like here, it's not seem to rain. It's sitting here. I can't see it. Hmm. Huh? 